So if you've gone through some of the circuits, right on for you. It's a lot of work and you can work super hard and get pretty much every part of your body to do a little bit of something. And in these days, we definitely need to keep moving. Um, at this point, this is the cool down. And for some of you, if you feel like you're really kind of vibed up, just keep yourself moving. Maybe you walk around a little bit before you actually start the cool down. I brought a chair in just so we could do some stretches and not have to get down onto the floor. Um, so we'll start out first, just taking some deep breaths. And exhale. Oh, that feels good. Just kind of shake out from there. And then inhale. And exhale. Great. Good. So let's just lift our arms up and stretch and lengthen long. Let's take your right arm, reach it a little bit further, and then your left, or either one or the other. And then both arms reach a little taller, and then we let those arms float down back to your side. Let's pick those shoulders up and just circle back and down. Lift with an inhale, and exhale. And lift. I'm still Where's Waldo, got my blue and white Where's Waldo shirt on, so you're still looking for me. That's great. So we're going to stand comfortably, knees soft, standing in good posture. We'll turn your head to one side, just pressing your nose over to look at your shoulder. And then gently bring your head back center, and then we'll go the other way. You can hold these stretches as long as you want. You can repeat them. This is just a couple of ideas. Take one ear, drop it over your shoulder, and let your shoulders and your body relax. I tend to do what I call the mother rock, which is shifting from one side to the other. Bring your head back up to center, and then we'll drop to the other side. Just always important, just be safe. Do what you can, but do. That's the important thing. Just try to keep moving. Take a breath. Bring your head back up. Good. Let's circle once or twice again. Let's reach one hand up. I'm going to take my other hand over and grab my wrist and pull. So you could grab your elbow. For some of you that may have some shoulder issues, just lean. So you take that stretch where you can. We'll come back center, the other arm reaches up. We're gonna grab that uh, wrist or elbow and then just gently guide that side and stretch. Or maybe just pull through, leaning to one side. Awesome. And then come on back up. Let's bring both hands down. Very good. Take your one arm, bring it across your body. The other arm's gonna come up and support it. And then we'll gently give that shoulder and back just a teensy little stretch. I'm gonna shake out my feet, do my mother rock. Good. And then we'll change sides. So I'll take the other arm across my body. My arm that's not doing anything is gonna hold that up. Gentle stretch. Just be mindful of your posture. You're still standing tall. Trying to thank your body for all it did for you as you move forward into your day. Great. Let's bring both hands back. So I'm gonna bring hands by my hips. I'm gonna slowly slide back to where I can and try to squeeze those elbows together. For some of you, you can actually bring your hands together. Let's bring your hands together behind you and then pull those shoulder blades together wherever you can, whatever works best for you. So we want to open up the front of your body. Excellent. Breathe. That's terrific. Good. So let's do a little bit of lower body. So I'm just going to sit on the edge of the chair and bring one leg out in front. I'm going to straighten that leg and let it relax. Support on the other leg as I lean in. So I'm going to get a stretch down the back of my leg, hamstring. If I pull my toes toward me, I'm going to get a little more stretch in that uh, calf. Work my leg up. Notice how 
I'm not hunched over, keeping those shoulders wide, supporting my body. Good. So again, you can hold that a lot longer. Come on back up and then switch sides. So sitting tall, leaning from your hips, lean in, supporting your body, and just nice light tension back there. I usually say in my classes, when you stretch, it's not a destination, it's a journey. So you take your time, ease into the stretch. You never know what your body's going to give you each day. So discover it when you're stretching and see how it feels. Remember to pull those toes towards you, get a little more stretch in those calves. That's very nice. And then we'll help yourselves back up. So I'm going to turn, so I'm just sideways in my chair. I'm going to take one leg and just let it relax at my side. I'm going to press my pelvis forward, so I'm going to press my tailbone under. And I want to try and get a stretch in my quadriceps, the front leg here. So I'm going to hang on to my chair. As I um, sit, the more I move this leg back, the more of a stretch I'll get. So be careful. You can also do the same stretch standing. So that would look like this, where I might grab my sock, the back of my shoe. I could even use a towel around my leg. The object is to relax that leg and let that stretch happen in the front of your leg. So I'm still standing tall. I'm not leaning in. Good. So either way would be fine. So we'll do the same on the other side. So I'm sitting on the edge of the chair. I'm just gonna let this leg relax, ease it back. And I'm just going to squeeze my behind, trying to push my tailbone forward, sit tall, and just let that length happen in the front of this leg and into your hip. Hang on to the back of your chair and the front and rest. So if these stretches are new to you, it's going to be a journey. <laughs> so take your time, do a little bit at a time, and just learn what works best for your body. So we'll take a breath here. That's awesome. All right, and we'll come back sitting toward the front of the chair. Um, we're gonna tuck your chest in. So I'm gonna let my shoulders round forward, tuck my head, and then just lean forward. I'm just gonna let my elbows rest on my, on my uh, legs and allow my back to round. I say round your back like a turtle or a rainbow. So there's definitely an arc. So to help you do that, just gently pull your belly button in a little bit and we'll allow that back to get a stretch. So trying to relax your body. Let's take a little breath. And then I'm gonna put my hands on my legs and just help my body come back up nice and tall. I'll usually cue, think of little Lincoln logs or Legos stacking back up into great posture. Let's take a nice big breath in. And exhale. Good, one more big breath. Let's add our arms. And exhale. One more time. Come on up. And exhale. So, you can never move too much. Well, I guess you could, but um, try to do as much as you can throughout the day. It's easy to sit now as we're forced to be indoors a little bit more with the current situation and um, having to stay inside. But I hope this is helpful. Um, you have a wonderful day and remember that there's always a rainbow when it rains. Sometimes it's hard to find it, but it's always there.